Hey guys, it's Tanya Rubin with our Wine Country Realtor and we are live on Temecula Uncorked. Gosh, the lighting is really, really, really bright. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a shadow here. I am going to make a little adjustment. So hopefully I'm not glaring in everyone's face. All right, well, this is a little bit bright. These white clouds, hey Melody. Um, so today we have a special guest joining us. I'm gonna dial her in in a minute, but first I'm gonna jump off um, and share this feed in a couple of places so that you can find us. Okay, give me two minutes here, sorry. I got a little like, hello, hello, hello. Okay, I need this to come up on my computer. This is a, I need a production assistant. But, there we go. I found it and I am sharing. Almost there, we got a couple more quick shares to do, and then we will get down to today's business. Pulling up my notes. Almost. Seriously, need a production assistant. I think that we will leave it there so that we can get started. Melody Ingram is our special guest today. She is the wife of Marietta Mayer, John Ingram, and we are going to figure out how to get her into this conversation. Yes, Be on camera. She's being added right now by the magic of Facebook and internet and the tech gods. May the tech gods be with us. So what did everyone do this weekend while we're waiting for Melody? Does anyone have any commentary? Is anyone with us yet? Hello. Hey, I hear Melody. Hi, Melody. Hello. Hi, Danielle. Too hard, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I said that wasn't too hard. No, it wasn't. That was great. Yeah. Just push the button. Go live. Yes, exactly. I just wish, like I said, when we were we were chatting before, that you could um, set up some of the admin stuff in advance and have it like ready to go. But that that's uh, oh another chapter in this adventure. Gotcha. We'll fi we'll get it all figured out. I think Brett Brett from Waterwise has joined in. Hi, Brett. Hey, Brett. Welcome. <laughs> he does. He's you ever driving down the two fifteen. You see his uh, beautiful statues on the side of the freeway, oh, the, yeah. the iron statues and everything. Yeah, I, that's, that's pretty, Brett. It's, Brent, re, Brett referred us to our landscape designer, Courtney Smith, and oh. Leo. Well, he can confirm it's that. It's a small and, world uh, out here. <laughs> it is a very small world, and there are, well, there are a lot of cool contractors and landscape contractors. There are not that many landscape designers that you can hire independently right. to, to draw up your plans for you and then be able to sub those out, which is, is the way we, yeah. we just, and he does. Great work too. <laughs> so we are doing,
having um, Smecula <laughs> Unworked, the whole goal and reason for this um, live is to talk about all the great things going on in the Temecula Valley. And I thought as the wife of our local mayor of Marietta, you might have some wonderful insight. So what did you, did you get up to anything fun over the weekend? Well, um, currently right now we're having our house remodeled inside. So, um, but uh, the Get Shamrocked, our, our uh, local Irish festival, they call it, they call it um, California's Irish Coachella. Uh, just happened over the weekend, which um, everybody loves. Um, have a, they have a great time. They have great food, great music. Um, that and I think uh, next weekend is the Marietta Rod Run. Oh, that's always a big, big event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot Will of fun. You guys out at that event. I'm sorry. Will you guys get to make that one and attend? Oh yeah, you... yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be Let's there. Go. Have you done that event in the past? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what what a lot of fun part of it? Just looking at all the nostalgia, just the the cars, the um, the the music. Um, it's a different era, and it just comes back to life. And it's all about just you know hanging out and being with friends and good people and and. Um, does that go yeah. morning to night, or is it an afternoon and evening? It it happens. Um, it's a two day event. Okay. And it, it happens. It's an all day thing. They close down um, Washington Street in downtown, uh, historic downtown. Okay. And so you can only walk historic downtown. There's no driving, you know, except for the rods getting there, and um, you just walk around. You look at the cars, the vendors. They have lots of fun vendors and. Um, uh, there's restaurants down there. We like to stop and uh, sit on the balcony at the mill mm -hmm. and watch and you over there. The restaurant that's recently opened up down I'm there. I'm sorry, you break it down. Yes, the Grange. The Grange. It's right by the Wings. Yeah. Yeah. That I no, it's, it's, I have it's, eaten there, but I did stop by quickly to take a look. I, my kids were at rock climbing down the road, and, and it looks like a mm. great yeah, they've done a beautiful job. Oh, yeah, they did. It's a it's beautiful inside and out, and the food is amazing. And they have live entertainment in there on the weekends. Um, and of course, the wine. You know, the wine <laughs> oh. is wonderful. So, <laughs> sure. So, so as the mayor's wife, do you have any like favorite things about the community of Marietta? Favorite things that the community offers that you think are really special? Well, there's, there's, there's several things. Um, we have a ton of parks and, and trails out here um, that, uh, that we, you can find them all on the city website. There's a, a map of all the trails, uh, walking trails, hiking trails. It's just not Santa Rosa Plateau. It's, it's, um, which it's is beautiful. Marietta Creek area. I mean, it's just, yeah. It, it's uh, Santa Rosa Plateau is probably one of my favorite places to go. It just they've done such a beautiful job with preserving it, and when it rains and when the the, the pools come up, it, yeah. it, it's, it's just it's just beautiful, mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, but uh, it just it just it has a lot more to offer than than people think. So I always tell them go to the city website because the city website is is full of information on things to do and where the trails and are, where the parks are, um, our library, our library here is, is phenomenal. I've know few libraries that are so interactive with the public and do so many free things. There's free things for them to do education, fun. Um, yeah, I just, I love, I'm, it's my personal favorite is our, is our Marietta library. Hi, Taryn. We just had Taryn join us. Um, so talking oh. about the library, are there any, um, like the Temecula Library, I'm not as familiar with the Marietta Library. So does the Marietta Library also offer um, any special classes or tutoring or any community services mm -hmm. of that nature? Oh, yeah. They have, um, they have all sorts of, especially the preschoolers. They have a bunch of classes for preschoolers. They, um, 
uh, I know they offer help with the ESL, adult English language, helping um, learn English. Uh, they offer that okay. at free. Um, uh, they, um, they're doing dinosaurs. They're doing dinosaurs with the preschools right now, and it's just completely adorable. And then That's they have uh, um, a garden area at the library as well that you can, you can run out for private events. Uh, a lot of times the city does events in there, but it, it's a beautiful area to go in and, and, uh, I bet a lot of people wouldn't have known that you could rent that out privately. No, yeah, people. A lot of people don't know that, but it's yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's rose garden and and gazebo, and you know, it's it's beautiful. Oh, so fun! I will have to. I have not been to the Murrieta Library, but now you've inspired me to want to go and check it out. I have to put that on my list of of things to go. Yes, it's a great library. You won't be you won't be sorry. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, you should. So what else do you have? You're, you are in a busy season because I know it is campaign season, so that, that is always busy. But what will you be doing for fun and, and de-stressing? <laughs> is that even possible on the campaign? <laughs> um, no, not for the next five weeks, I think. <laughs> it's just go, go, go. But, no, we have a lot of fun. We like to um, – we like to go and attend. We have a lot of events. You know, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of five hundred one c threes here um, that hold events that are a lot of fun. Like a, a, a St. Martha's is coming up. Um, they have it's a um, uh, it's a country themed. It's country music and okay. yeah, wine dance. You come in, but that all the benefits go to uh, help the food pantry, which the food pantry That's- feeds five hundred people a week. Yeah, so it's um, it's a wonderful um, program we have. Um, it's fun. Uh, we just like to take a drive every while night. doing good too. Yeah, you can have fun and do good yes. at the same time. Yes, and I'm sure it sounds like you guys Absolutely. managed to strike a balance of having fun while doing the work of the campaigning as well, like making those those events fun. Hi, Monica. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> oh, I see um, Ashley jumped on. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, sorry I missed you, but Melody got you. Take the team. <laughs> so it sounds like you have a busy, 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 busy season coming up. Yes. Is there any? Yes, we have a lot going on. We have. That I should ask. Yeah, the Veterans Day parade is coming up. Sorry? I'm sorry, you're bringing it up. We're... We got a break out in the connection. Sorry. I was asking if there were any other highlights that you were that you were thinking of that might be coming up, or did we cover? I know we covered the rod run that you guys have that coming up in Marietta, and did you say there was another festival in October? Uh, yes, the fall festival, and it's held at uh, Cal Oaks Park. Again, that's on the city council uh, the city calendar. I don't recall the exact date right now i'm sorry about that but um that's it is right. this month let me and, see um, I that that's done that. through the parks and rec so if you just go on the city's website under um uh, community services parks and recs it's there and uh, then we have also the um veterans day parade that was the one that i yeah. wanted to that that, that we yes. were that we were talking about yeah that's always super important yeah everyone comes out yeah it's it's one it's it's one of the the largest in the area and it's just they do a a beautiful job with um honoring the veterans at in marietta uh, the, the entire park that the um the rotary club puts out uh the flag the field of honor so over i think there was over two thousand flags that were placed last year and they're all they all have a name on it and you can um uh, you oh. can sponsor flag and then you get to take Firing. it home and then they, they have the the ball oh. yeah it's, it's it's a week long it's a week long celebration of veterans and they have the 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 veterans ball at the end of it and yeah mm-hmm. so awesome yeah. and, and, then, and, and then of course those Chris, really family focused, so it's not just for the adults or just for it's really for the whole family yeah well Miriam is very family oriented here um so all these events, it's, they're 
except for Get Shamrock. It's 21 and over, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we adults have totally fun, too. And, uh, when it's called Get Shamrock, sorry, having... it doesn't sound like it's very kid-friendly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I also think yeah. this is often we'll hear Marietta described as a, a sleepy commuter town, and, and I think this discussion goes a, a long way to dispel that. There's a lot of community and a lot of heart in both both the Temecula and Marietta, and the valley has, is just rich with, with community and offerings. Oh, Temecula. Well, Everybody uh, thinks there's not a lot to do in Temecula area. There's, there's plenty to do. Yeah, there's, there's, sorry, you, I think there's always something fun happening. You just have to yeah. get out there and face yeah, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I know people, you are. It looks like. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We're having a connection back. thing again. Sorry? <laughs> no, go ahead. You were saying? I was saying that I know that you are crazy busy, and, and I'm glad that I was able to steal you away for a few minutes this afternoon, evening. But I'm going to let you get back to your busyness, and I will see you on Facebook. <laughs> and we will get together for our wine very soon. I'll steal you. Absolutely. Right yes, we have to do that soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And um, so it was great talking Melody. with you. And... Bye, Tanaya. Bye, guys. Everyone has to get out and vote. <laughs> Go vote. Ingram. <laughs> yes, we'll talk to you soon. I don't know how to Bye. connect. I'm going to do a little roundup here. How do we connect? You can yeah, to say, to I'm going to do a little just have to say goodbye. <laughs> it's good? not letting us say goodbye. <laughs> it's not. It wants us to be together, Melody. Clearly. Hey, you know, it's been written, you know. The Facebook said so, and I just see Facebook a flash flood world. warning come through oh, on, on my God. weather. It what happens? I I love you even if it's if it sends us apart. Ah, uh, cancel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cancel now. Did you get it? All right. I don't know. All right. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. I I tried pressing a little up top. <laughs> It's trying to add you again, uh, double add. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you probably, it'll hey, probably. It was just a little technology you challenge. You. Sorry? Just a little technology challenge. We figured out how to get on. We just need to figure out how to get off. <laughs> I think for sure if you open up the app and then just swipe it up, it'll probably kick us out. But. Oh. That seems so drastic. There you go. There you go. There. I know. I don't like doing that. It seems so final. <laughs> it is fine. But All not... right. We'll try that. I think I hear the mare in the background. <laughs> oh, now you're frozen. I think that we have said goodbye. Okay. Well, that was a lot of fun having Melody join us today. And I just want to quickly, before we say goodbye today, I know we've been on for a little bit of time, but there are some super fun things coming up that I want to make sure that I mention what um, I mentioned some of these. So we've got Libra. I'm not sure if tickets are still available for that or not, but that is going to be a fabulous time if they do have tickets and you manage to steal them. Hi, Michelle. I see you there. Sorry, we were so caught up in technical difficulties that I didn't uh, say hello. Go ahead, and if you're watching, give us a little love or a heart. Um, we also have that this weekend. And then the other thing that is always so fun um, um, the, these lovely ladies host this wonderful event called the Create Workshop. They put this on a, about four or five times a year, I believe. Um, sometimes they might do some smaller events. But these events are wonderful, and they have an event coming up on October 6th. And you purchase your ticket for that event, and everything that you need to create a few crafts is included in your evening. And then you are, hi, Jess. 
Thanks for joining us. Um, so you pick, purchase your ticket and then everything you need for the night. They, they provide dinner, they provide the crafts, the instructions for the crafts, and usually these events are held at one of the local wineries or a different local business, and it is a great night with, usually with your girlfriends. It is more of a, of a girl, girl-friendly activity, although I've, uh, I have seen a number of, of um, very good-natured, cooperative husbands join in the fun as well. But if you have not been to one of their events, that is super, super fun and definitely a must-add for a girls' night. And let me just do a quick check here and see if there were any other, just looking at my notes here, um, to see if there's anything else I was wanting to cover today. I know... Um, the Headless Horseman Rides are on now at Vail Ranch. They are also doing market nights on Friday, so that is a lot of fun. And if you think of any other great activities that I should be posting on Wine Country Social, please tag me. I will make sure they get posted. And we will be back again next Monday with another live and another surprise guest. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching Temecula Uncorked. It's been fun. Yay! It was fun having Melody join us tonight. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.